Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Danil and today we will talk about Expander Cross vs XL7. Pinaka una usapan natin tungkol sa engine. Pareho sila meron 1.5 liter 4 cylinder gasoline engine comes with 5 speed manual and 4 speed automatic transmission. Kung usapan natin tungkol sa maximum output Expander Cross makes 104 horses and 141 Nm torque. The other hand, XL7 makes 103 horses and 138 Nm torque. So next po, usapan tayo tungkol sa exterior na Expander Cross. Pinakauna napansin kayo meron ito chrome dynamic shield grill, LED DRLs, LED headlamps, fog lamps, and fake skid plate. Sa side profile, napansin kayo meron ito very stylish 17 inches diamond cut alloy wheels, 225mm ground clearance, auto folding, chrome ORVM with turn indicators, chrome door handle with passive entry, roof rails. Sa rear profile, pinakauna na notice kayo meron ito very stylish LED tail lamps, integrated spoiler, shark fin antenna, rear view camera, and rear parking sensors. Kung usapan natin tungkol sa exterior design, no doubt this is a very stylish and appealing looking SUV in this segment. The other hand, XL7 is also very stylish. Comes with LED DRLs, LED headlamps, fog lamps, fake skid plate, sa side profile, 16 inches diamond cut alloy wheels, 200 mm ground clearance body color ORVM that is also auto folding chrome door handles with passive entry roof rails sa rear profile napansin kayo meron ito LED tail lamps that looks very stylish rear view camera rear parking sensors integrated rear spoiler kung usapan natin tungkol sa overall design this is also very stylish and sporty looking SUV Expander Cross comes with dual tone interior with leather seats. Ang driver seat pwede po tayo adjust. Yung dashboard design is absolutely premium. Comes with leather wrapped steering wheel with audio controls and cruise controls. And very stylish instrument cluster. Push star stop. 7 inches touch screen display with mirror link and offline navigation. 8 way adjustable aircon controls second row is also very spacious meron dito 60 40 seats pwede po tayo adjust meron dito aircon vents meron dito center armrest kung usapan natin tungkol sa third row third row is also very spacious sa xl7 napansin kayo meron ito all black interior with fabric seats driver seat po pwede po tayo adjust dashboard design is also very stylish Meron ito leather wrap, D-shaped steering wheel with audio controls, very stylish instrument cluster, push start stop, 10 inches touchscreen display with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, automatic climate control, ventilated cup holder. XL7 second row is also very spacious. Meron din ito 6040 seats. Meron ito center armrest pero Medyo malit po yan. Sa expander cross is bigger. Meron ito same air vents. Third row is also almost the same space with expander cross. So next po, usapan natin tungkol sa safety features. Pareho sila meron dual airbags, ABS with EBD, rear parking sensors, rear view camera, stability control, engine immobilizer. Pero, Expander Cross comes with two extra features that is traction control and emergency stop signal. So next po, usapan natin tungkol sa presyo. Expander Cross pricing is 1.2 million 55,000 pesos. The other hand, XL7 pricing is 1 million 68,000 pesos. Dito, everything's goes with XL7 because of very affordable 
pricing. So guys, which one you need to pick? Kung gusto kayo, very stylish and futuristic design, go with Expander Cross. Kung gusto kayo, value for money product, go with XL7. Kung gusto kayo, fun to drive car, go with XL7. Kung gusto kayo, tipit sa gasolina, go with XL7. Kung gusto kayo, more safety, go with Expander Cross. Kung gusto kayo, better ride and handling, go with XL7. Kung gusto kayo, big touch screen, go with XL7. Kung gusto kayo, cruise control, go with Expander Cross. Kung gusto kayo, more resale value, go with Expander Cross. So that's all from my side. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you very much.